Noah. You haven't been home for half a month. What's up? Just a short time, you missed me. Oh, Noah. It's quite late, you should stop answering calls. If Emily truly misses you so much, then you can just go back. Are you at Mia's place? Where I am, doesn't concern you. What's that sound? What's happening? It's me. Emily, what trick are you playing now? Oh, Noah, nothing really happened to Emily, right? Mia, it is not your turn to pity me. Let's get divorced. Emily. Get some sleep. Noah, I've loved you for 15 years, been married to you for four. Finally, I can let go. Hello, Noah? It's me. I know you went to the hospital yesterday. What did the results say? Nothing. The doctor said I'm just too tired. A bit of rest will fix it. Is that what you said? Or should I check for myself? Oh, well. I've got a bit of stomach ache. Are you talking to another man again? No, I am not. It's Ethan. Ethan. Oh, I see. Ethan again. Miss Johnson, I think you should reconsider. This is what you've earned for the Wilson family. Why do I need so much money? Then help me make a will. All right, I'll send it to you today. Well, we have a guest at home. Why didn't you tell me? Why do you come back now? My own home. Why can't I return? You old woman. So bold. Even dating is all done at home. I must come and take a look to see who tempted you into wanting a divorce. Noah, it's not like that. He's just this type. Not even as good as Ethan. Mr. Wilson, please speak with more respect. Respect? Noah, calm down and listen. I'm a lawyer. I'm here to help Miss Johnson to handle her divorce. Get lost. Noah, am I really worth nothing in your eyes? Don't forget how you married him back then. Are you qualified to get a divorce? Noah, isn't this what you want? If we get divorced now, can't you be with Mia openly? Aren't I doing you a favor? If these still don't match your liking and you are not quite happy, just consider it as if I cheated on you behind your back. It seems you've dated and flirted with many guys during my absence. That lawyer just now is one of them, isn't he? After all, a woman like you will never be satisfied by one guy. During four years, I've had enough. I don't want to be with you. Ouch. Hey, listen, I've had enough. I don't want to be with you. Ouch. You bit me. Ouch. You want a divorce? Let me tell you, I haven't had enough fun. Noah. Listen up, think it through before coming out. Hey, let me out, let me out. Noah, please let me out. Noah. Is it you? I beg you. Just open the door. Madam. Mr. Wilson instructed. Without his permission, I can't open the door. Madam, you should yield a bit. Just don't be mad at Mr. Wilson. Nancy, please. Just open the door. Nancy, leave here. Okay. Noah. I was wrong. I know I was wrong. Please, help me open the door. Really? Yesterday, you didn't have this attitude. Based on your attitude back then, you can starve for some more days, right? Noah, are you crazy? You are joking with me, right? Noah, 
Do you know? I love that expression of pleading from you. Noah, I'm pregnant. Please, let me go outside. Do you think I'll believe you? Stay inside quietly. My dear Noah, where are you now? It's raining and thundering tonight. I'm so scared all alone. I'm on my way there now. Emily, you challenge me. My dear Noah, you're finally here. I've long waited for you. All because of that woman, wasting my time. Forget it, just don't bother with her. Your health isn't good yet. Why are you busy with this again? What do you want to eat? You can call Tony. Ask him to book some, you understand? I'm not tired. It's been a while since you had my cooking. Here, take a bite. How is it? Emily is alone tonight. She's not scared, right? She's usually terrified of thunder. Noah, are you okay? What are you thinking? Nothing. Eat up. How could I think of that silly woman? Damn it. I'm pregnant. Please, let me go outside. Do you think I'll believe you? Why would Noah have a drink? He knows I hate the smell of alcohol. It must be Emily again. Noah, how did your talk with her go today? Talk? Talk about what? About divorcing Emily. Divorce? Why should I agree with her? This matter isn't up to her. So, are you going to divorce or not? Of course, yes, I will. Oh, I'm just concerned about you. I don't want to see you doing things you don't like because of me. You don't have to worry about this. I'll handle it. Okay. Emily, still doesn't want to divorce, as expected. Noah, I think I am such a bad woman. I used to hate the third party. But now I've become the person I hate the most. Noah. Oh, please don't think that way. It is an agreement that I had with her. She volunteered. Don't feel guilty. That means you'll still divorce her, right? You still love me most. I am leaving now. These days, I won't come to your place. How do you handle your task? No results yet. This time, I want her reputation ruined. Did you hear me clearly? Get out here. Emily. Emily. Stop pretending to be dead here. Several days without food won't kill. Noah. Let me go, please. What's wrong with you? Let me take you to the hospital. Noah. Let's get divorced. You're still talking about divorcing me? Seems not that serious for you. Since that's the case, then you just stay put. Mr. Wilson, are you sure about this? I said do it. Why so many questions? Is everything signed? Got him drunk last night and he signed. No one found out? No one. Only a few of our men. Liam. He's truly greedy. You've got two days. Two days? Isn't that too tight on time? Okay, I'll get it done. Emily, Emily, I will make you understand the consequence of disobedience. Noah, you're back. You must be hungry. I'll cook for you. What are you doing? Noah, don't do that. I really don't feel well today. Stop pretending and get ready. Really feeling unwell. Emily, you make me sick. You know, you tried every way to seduce me. Now, pretending to be innocent, huh? Noah, just don't. No, Noah, no. Why did you bring me here? 
Just be patient. You'll find out soon enough. Emily! Emily! I... I was framed! Emily! Let go of me. Let go of me. Dad. Dad. Noah, didn't you frame him? It was you who framed my dad. I... I have never considered framing your dad. You forced him. Isn't that right? I forced him. If it weren't for your dad's greed. If it weren't for the divorce you want. We wouldn't be in this situation. Oh. It seems like I have some evidence. That might help your dad. What are your conditions? Beg me. Kneel down. Beg me. Wait. Kneel down. Is this enough now? What I meant is, you keel for five hours. Don't push it too far. You don't want to save your dad? Oh, that's right. After all, he's not your biological father. Hey, this is, isn't she Liam's daughter? Oh, Liam. The one who sells fake medicine. Oh, he deserves to be caught. Yeah, he should get caught. Ouch. This might just be my karma. My retribution. Get away. Stop watching. Stop watching. Just go. Emily. Emily. Can I play with you? Can I play with you? I don't want to play with the nanny's kid. I'm not the nanny's kid. Yes, you are. Doctor. Nurse. I'll listen to you obediently from now on. Stop talking now. Save your strength. This way, this way. Save your strength. It's been 19 years. Enough with the talking. Don't you dare have any issues. I haven't had my fill of fun yet. Get yourself together. Why is she coughing up so much blood? Oh, don't worry. Let's run some tests first. What? Is Emily Johnson's family here? Oh, yeah, I'm here. How's her condition? The patient is in critical condition. She needs immediate surgery. How is that possible? Hurry and call Dr. Brown for the surgery. Wait! You guys must be mistaken. She... She's perfectly fine. She just hasn't eaten for three days. And knelt for five hours. She's a bit weak and coughed up some blood, right? You don't know she has stomach cancer? Still put her through all this. Stomach cancer? As her husband, you didn't know. Your wife has stomach cancer. You're so hideous. Thank you all. Ethan. Emily, I'm here. About my pregnancy. Don't tell Noah. I promise you. But right now, you have to cooperate with the treatment. Okay. Nurse, please make a note. Miss Johnson hasn't eaten for the past few days, and it caused severe gastric bleeding. You should continue observing her. Understood, Dr. Brown. Emily, Emily. Is she okay? The patient's condition is stable now. For more details, ask Dr. Brown. Ethan, how's her condition? Ethan, how's her condition? You've got some nerve here. I'm her husband. Why shouldn't I be here? 
still calling yourself her husband? Thanks to you, she's still alive. I am her husband. I'll take care of her myself. You're just an outsider. Stay out of it. Take care of her. Look at what you've done so far. You're out with Mia all the time. Apart from it, you plotted against the Shin family, and even got Emily's father into jail. Who do you think you are? Let me tell you again. Emily, I'll take care of her myself. You shouldn't interfere. Why don't you go and look after your precious Mia Clark instead? Mr. Wilson, Miss Clark said she couldn't reach you, so she called me. Is there something wrong? She said she was here too. She wanted to see you. Got it. Noah, you finally made it. I called you so many times. And you didn't seem to care. I was busy with Emily's matters. I didn't notice the calls. Well, then, how's she doing? Is she alright now? She's fine. She's out of danger already. No need to worry. Then you should keep her company. I'll be fine on my own. Alright then. Rest up for now. Hello? Tony. Order some dishes tonight, from the restaurant Mia loves. Tell the chef to hold the chili. Deliver it to the ward at 6. You're awake. You've been sleeping for two whole days. What are you doing here? Just wanted to check if you were still alive. What about my dad? Your dad's fine. I'll take care of everything. Take good care of yourself. The evidence is in my office. The second drawer on the left. You know what to do, right? Yes, but... What's wrong? We went through all that trouble to set a trap to get her dad into jail. That's it. Just follow through. Okay. Noah. It's been ages since we had a meal together. Well, here I am now. Then how about you feed me this? What's the matter? Mia, I've got some business to attend to. I'll come see you tomorrow. But we haven't finished eating. Be good. Emily, let's see how long you can. Keep up your arrogance. Noah, we'll be mine, sooner or later. I just don't get you. Noah. Emily, you're awake. Are you hungry? I'll have assistant Chen get some food. I'm not hungry. I just want some water. Oh, water. Sure. Emily, you're awake. How's your recovery going? Why are you here? Why can't I be here? I'm Emily's attending physician. I'm here to check on her. I know what you're thinking. You should leave. I need to have some tests. Okay. I'll step out for now. I'll come back later. Ethan. I need a favor from you. Can you help me make a fake medical report? Can you help me make a fake medical report? What? Doesn't he already know everything? That's exactly why I don't want him to treat me so nicely. In the end, I'll still be the one leaving on my own. Are you out of your mind? If he believes that you don't have stomach cancer, do you think he'll just let you go? I've gotten used to it. I beg you, please. After all, I don't have much time left anyway. Don't talk like that. Director Wright attended a seminar last month. They're developing a special medication for stomach cancer. You can't give up. Even if I don't die, being by his side is still a living hell. All I want is... If it had been me who helped you in the beginning, it would have been so much better. You wouldn't have to bear Noah, his sin. Ethan. Ethan. I'll take care of it. You just focus on resting for now.
Hey! Don't smoke in front of Emily, her health can't handle it. Got it! The smell of smoke is so strong. Emily doesn't really have stomach cancer, right? Okay, don't be afraid. Look. It says here gastric bleeding. Oh, the report was wrong that day. Her stomach bled a lot. Emily, how dare you lie to me? Do you really want to die? Emily, how dare you lie to me? Do you really want to die? Yes, I lied to you. So what? What about my dad? How did you handle his case? Your dad again. You don't have anything else to say to me, do you? Between you and me, is there anything left to say? Good. Keep treating me like this. If you don't want anything to happen to your dad, you can continue. What did you do to my dad? Didn't you promise to spare him? How can you go back on your word? You made me kneel, and I did. You embarrassed me, and I almost failed to survive during the surgery. I did promise to help your dad, but it's up to the judge now. Your dad's charges are serious, and he's locked up with other dangerous criminals. Rest well. I've hired a nurse for you. Tomorrow, I'll testify in court. Noah, you've been lying to me all along, right? You married me just to save Mia. Isn't that right? Yes. From the beginning, I saw you as Mia's blood bank. So, stop deceiving yourself. Emily, is that scumbag responsible for this? I'll make him pay the price. Don't do that. I made that myself. Do you think I'm stupid? Anyway, I don't have much time left. Please don't act foolishly. Think about yourself, and the child, inside your belly. Besides, next week, you can start chemotherapy. Have some confidence in us. It might be a bit painful. Endure it for a while. Does it hurt? Noah, CEO of the Wilson Corporation, had a secret meeting with Miss Mia Clark. Do you know about this? Is it true or not? I don't know. They're just plain. He divorced his wife. Don't listen to their nonsense. It's all fake. Don't listen to their nonsense. It's all fake. It doesn't matter. You don't need to comfort me. The wound is already bandaged. Please don't act foolishly anymore. I've been staying here, causing you trouble. I am truly concerned about you. I have to attend to something first. An hour later, a nurse will come to change your dressing. Rest for now. This young master, Noah, is so despicable. He hasn't even divorced yet, and he's dating another woman. Don't you think so? What? The news has been trending every day. Don't you know? It's that woman. What's her name? Emily. It's me. Well, if it had been you who appeared back then, would things have turned out differently? Just be quiet. Who are you? And why did you kidnap me? Paying off debts is only natural. You're from Noah's side, right? Come. Let the old man see his final view. Come here. No, please. 
No, please. No. Noah. What did you do to my dad? Why are you acting crazy again? Why did he say that? Don't you know what kind of person your dad is? He probably wants your money again. Mr. Wilson, the police are looking for you. Hello, are you Liam Johnson's family? Yes. Please confirm. How is this possible? Mr. Liam fell to his death last night. If there are no objections, please sign on the body confirmation form. Noah, you're the one who killed my dad. It's you. Emily, calm down a bit. This way, please. It's impossible. It can't be like this. Noah, this isn't real, right? My dad didn't die, right? Doctor, how did my dad die? He had many injuries. He fell from a tall building, excessive bleeding from the head, died on the spot. It's impossible. He borrowed money from me lately. My dad didn't die. He's not dead, right? Take care. Emily, get up first. It has already happened. Noah, you, a man, you despicable creature. Get your dirty hands off me. Emily. Emily, look at your hands. Can you calm down for a moment? You don't need to worry about me. Leave me alone. The farther you go, the better, the better. Emily, stop it. How are you feeling? Don't you know? Noah, you might as well kill me too. Emily, nurse, help. Emily, nurse, help. What's the matter? She fainted. Quick, come with me. Why didn't you take care of her? You don't know she has stomach cancer? Don't provoke her like this. She's very weak now. Please don't stimulate her anymore. Speak. There's something suspicious about Liam's death. Why are you telling me now? Send someone to investigate. Yes. Should we tell Madam about this? Not for now. Okay. You can go now. My mom is gone too. What am I going to do alone? Dad. I am here with you. Can you talk? You used to love arguing with me, didn't you? Dad. Dad. Wake up. Talk to me, please. Dad. Dad. Dad, wake up. Dad. 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 No. 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 Why aren't you staying in the hospital? What are you doing? Can't I come home? Have something to eat? You haven't eaten anything for days. How much did you involve yourself in my dad's affairs? If you don't eat, then starve. The matter is still being handled. What Emily is doing now? You just mentioned Emily. Yes, doctor. Don't you know? I just came back from a business trip. What's going on? Her father jumped off a building and committed suicide. He passed away. He should be in a ward now. What?
Hello, Emily. Where are you now? I'm coming to see you. Not answering means you agree, right? I've already submitted the evidence to the court. What do you think my motive would be to kill your father? He warned me to be careful of you before he died. Do you believe the words of a dying man? The police said he had many injuries. Did you do it? Is it possible that he doesn't want to spend his life in prison? That was self-harm. Is it really like that? Let's get a divorce. Divorce? Let me tell you, I won't even consider that. All right then, we won't get a divorce. So, give my dad back to me. Your dad is already dead. Noah, let's just get a divorce. There's no possibility between us anymore. It's impossible. Let me tell you, this is what your family owes me. You have no right to mention divorce. Just focus on your role as my wife. Noah, you treat me like a dog, ordering me around. You drew my blood at will. You even imprisoned me. You treat me like a plaything. What's the difference between me and an animal? Noah. What exactly do you want with Emily? Until when? Oh, Ethan. What a great doctor. Even found your way to our doorstep. Emily, are you ready to cuckold me? At any time? Get out. I'm taking Emily away now. Emily is my wife. You're just an outsider. Why do you have the right to take her away? She won't be your wife anymore soon. What a joke. She can only be my wife in this lifetime. Don't believe me? Ask her. She just said she won't leave me. It's impossible. You've made her suffer so much. Maybe she is stupid and doesn't want to leave. You're no match for me. What's wrong? Feeling sorry? Well, but he hit me first. Noah, please spare Ethan. I'll agree to anything you say. That's what you said. I didn't threaten you. Emily, don't agree to this man for my sake. I don't have much time left. Let it be, I swear. Nancy, come and tidy up the house. I'm going to make a call. Tomorrow, I'll arrange for your father's cremation. You go ahead. Do you know how your father died? These are all Noah's plans. Of course. With my input as well. Why did you kill my father? What's your intention? You, what are you doing? I don't know. You don't know? Stop it, that's enough. I didn't do anything. Considering your father's death, I won't hold you accountable today. Take her away. Emily, have some water. Noah, let me go. Where are you going? This is your home. I want to move out. Emily, why do you want to move out? Mom, this is this brat. Who believe you again? Mom, you're back. Mom, you're back. Yes, I finished dealing with things overseas early. So I came back. With such a big thing happening, how could I not come back? Mom, why did you come back early? Why didn't you tell me, so I could send someone to pick you up? I don't need that. Just take care of Emily at home. Mom, I have some matters to attend to at the company. I am leaving. Wait. Who just said they wanted to move out? I want to move out. Why would you want to move out when everything is fine here? Did he bully you again? Mom. No, I just want some time alone. 
I had some quarrel with him. I'll move him to the study. You can stay here. I am back. I am here to support you. Besides, if you move out, who will take care of you? I still want to catch up with you. All right. Okay. I understand. I heard you crying on the phone, so I rushed over. Are you okay? Noah, I'm scared. Noah, I've been feeling like there's someone wandering around in here lately. Can you stay and keep me company? Don't worry, I'm here. Don't be afraid. We're something warm. Don't catch a cold. Noah, don't hide things anymore. It's been so long since you last visited me. I know you married Emily. All for my sake. When are you going to divorce her? It's getting late. Rest early. I still have some work at the company. I'll come see you tomorrow. Noah. Noah. Don't go. I'm really scared all by myself. Don't go. Can you stay? It's getting late. You're not feeling well. Rest early. You won't really fall in love with that woman, right? Didn't you agree to marry her? Just because I needed a blood transfusion. You loved me all along, didn't you? Are you and Emily going to divorce or not? Mia! I'm sorry for that. But Emily and I won't divorce now. I can promise you everything else. I want you to take care of me. Okay. I promise you. Rest well. Emily, you won't get him. Madam, these dishes are your favorites. Mom, try them. I specifically told Nancy to make them. You brat. Come and have some too. Mom, you're so good. Noah, serve some food to your wife. Oh. You can't even take care of your own wife. Be nicer to her in the future. Got it, Mom. Nancy. Who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. What matters is... Your daughter. What do you want? I heard your daughter... Is in high school. Going to school. Must cost a lot of money. What exactly do you want? Change Emily's prenatal medicine to abortion pills. Isn't that inappropriate? It doesn't matter who I am. What matters is... Your daughter. Madam, drink this soup before going to sleep. I didn't ask you to make soup. Mr. Wilson ordered it. Noah. Madam, drink it while it's warm. All right. Madam, what's the matter? Why are you bleeding so much? Nancy, don't touch me. Quick, call Dr. Brown. My child, can't have anything happen. 
Madam, Dr. Brown's phone is not connecting. I'll call the ambulance. Madam, wake up. Madam. Emily. Emily. Mr. Wilson. You're back. Where's Emily? She's... in the hospital. Why did she go to the hospital? When Madam was coming downstairs, she accidentally fell. Fell down? What were you doing just now? Um, 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 um. Why is there blood? It seems like a miscarriage. Miscarriage? What happened to my child? Tell me quickly. The child is gone. I don't know what meaning my life has anymore. Emily, don't worry. Don't you still have me? Should I go and tell Noah? What good would it do? He won't believe me. Or I can take you. Away from this place. Where can I go? I can take you to a place without Noah. A place without worldly conflicts. Just the two of us. Trust me, Emily. I can take you to a life of happiness. Excuse me, is there a pregnant woman named Emily? In which ward? Let me check for you. How is it? In the obstetrics and gynecology department. There is no patient with that name. Are you sure you're not mistaken? Mistaken? That's impossible. Mr. Wilson, I found out. Madam was still in the hospital this morning, but she was discharged shortly after. Discharged? Where could she go? Her parents aren't here either. Would she be with Dr. Brown? Shut up. Go and check immediately. With all your efforts. Find her for me. Okay. What exactly happened? I don't know. She was perfectly fine. How could she fall down the stairs? I don't know. How she fell. You don't know? You're always by her side. How could you not know? Nancy, are you hiding something from me? Nancy, are you hiding something from me? Nancy, if my mother didn't take you in back then, would you and your daughter have a place to live? Can Sophia go to college now? Mr. Wilson, I was wrong. Here's what happened. It doesn't matter who I am. What matters is... your daughter. Mr. Wilson, sorry. I was wrong. I'm sorry to all of you. I am so sorry. If it weren't for the years... of friendship between our families, I won't spare you. Leave here. What kind of place is this? This is a house in the suburbs of my family. Later, I went to work in the city, and it's been abandoned ever since. You see, it's coming in handy now, right? Will Noah really not find this place? Don't worry. Not many people know about this place. Just take care of yourself, live here peacefully, and focus on recovering. Hello, Mr. Wilson. We found her. All right, I'm coming over now. Emily, get up quickly. Breakfast is ready. Coming right away. It's been a long time since I've seen you this happy. Really? If I hadn't married Noah, maybe I would be happier now. What? He knows we're together. Emily, don't worry. Not many people know we're here. He only knows that we left Havenbrook together. Ethan, he won't let me go so easily. Even in such a state, you're still worried about him. I don't want to involve you. With Noah's personality, he won't let you go. Divorce him. 
He cares so much about his reputation. How could he divorce me? Emily, you understand what I mean. We can go abroad. To a place without him. Ethan, I've always treated you like a brother. And that's how it will be. In the future. But I've never seen you as a sister. It's time to take the medicine. I'll get you a glass of water. Look, your complexion has improved recently. Next week, I'll take you to the hospital for a checkup. Okay, I'll follow your lead. You useless son. You even lost your own wife. Your mom already told me. Dad. It's not my fault that she left. You're still trying to defend yourself. Emily is such a good daughter-in-law. If you didn't constantly cause trouble, would she have left? Noah, you're in the wrong in this matter. Besides, Emily is already pregnant. Your mom is right. This is the heir of our Wilson family. Mom, Dad. Emily didn't tell me she was pregnant. I just found out recently. Then it's because you don't care about Emily. You didn't even know she was pregnant. Mom. I've already sent people to look for her. She will definitely be found in these few days. Who is it? Mom. How did you find this place? I told her. By the way, I was so worried about you. Rest assured, I didn't tell Noah. That unfilial son, he even dared bully you. Let him search for you himself. Emily, just focus on recovering here. Even though losing the child, you will have more in the future. Mom, I... Mrs. Wilson, have some fruit. Freshly picked today. Look, the environment here is quite nice. Emily has clearly shown significant improvement on her health. Dr. Brown, you really worked hard during this period taking care of Emily. It's my duty. And I've always treated Emily as my own sister. By the way, Emily should go to the hospital for a follow-up checkup. Chemotherapy. Chemotherapy. You may need to prepare for chemotherapy. Chemotherapy. Yes, that's right. Stomach cancer. For such a big matter, why didn't you tell me? Does Noah know? Mom, he doesn't know. I didn't intend to hide it from you. I just wanted to. Quietly leave. During the time I was away, I'm sorry for making you suffer. It's all because of my useless son. Mom. Well, there's no need to worry too much. Emily has been taking her medication lately, and her health has visibly improved. If she undergoes chemotherapy as well, she should be able to recover. Then please take good care of her. No matter how much it costs, we must cure Emily. Mom, please rest assured. I will cooperate with the treatment. Well then, I'll go back to the company first. There's still a lot of work to do. Okay. Take good care of yourself. Okay, Mom. It's been several days, and we still haven't found her. We've wasted time for nothing. No need to keep searching. Mrs. Ava, we will definitely find Mrs. Emily and bring her back. Mom. I've seen Emily. Mom. How did you find Emily? Bunch of useless people. Get out. Mom. Where is Emily? I'll go and bring her back right away. She doesn't want to see you. Is she with Ethan? I knew they had something going on. How dare you ask? You can't decide who she's with. At least Dr. Brown will take good care of Emily. And you. Your wife has cancer, and you didn't even know. Wasn't she lying to me? For something as serious as cancer, would she lie to you? Emily. What else are you hiding from me? Cut off contact with me immediately. Mom. Mia and I are just ordinary friends. Well, well. Others might not know the truth, but I'm your mom. That's all in the past now. In a week's time, Emily will undergo chemotherapy at the hospital. I'll give you the address then. For now, don't disturb her. What do you mean? 
I'm here to bring Emily back. No need for your fake concern. I will personally take her there. Emily. I've come to take you back. Come with me. Get in the car. Madam, Mr. Wilson specifically came to take you to the hospital. You don't even know that Mr. Wilson. You don't need to do that. Ethan will take me to the hospital. Okay, Ethan. Once again. How affectionate. You. I'm going with him. Bunch of useless people. If you fail this time, don't blame me for being rude. Okay. I understand. Alex. Leave here. Why didn't you tell me about your stomach cancer and about being pregnant? What's the use of telling you? The child is innocent. I just want to give birth alone and die quietly. I'm sorry for what I did to you before. From now on, I will make it up to you. Make it up? Can you compensate for my father's life? Your father truly has nothing to do with me. I admit that I wanted to frame him and send him to jail, but I never expected things to turn out like this. Emily. Mom. Emily and I got into a car accident. Please come back quickly. No and Emily got into a car accident. All right. Okay. The sooner, the better. Mom. You're awake. Wait, let me go call the doctor. Mom. How is Emily? Noah, don't speak for now. Tell me quickly. Okay, currently, Emily is more seriously injured. She has stomach cancer and is currently experiencing gastric bleeding. She's still in the emergency room. Mom, please send someone to investigate. My intuition tells me that someone wants to harm Emily. Okay, don't worry. I have already given the order. Mom. Give me my phone. It's already so late, and you still want your phone? Just give it to me. Hello. Noah. Are you okay? How are you? I'm fine. Emily is still in the hospital being treated. It's all Emily's fault. Wherever she is, there's always trouble. All right. You'll still need her to give you blood transfusions. Emily, Emily. All you care about is Emily. Now hurry up and come to me. Are you Emily's family? Yes, I am. How is Emily? Although she's out of danger now. She's still in a coma, and the gastric bleeding caused by stomach cancer is severe. I heard you found a blood donor, which is good news, but we still need to see how she responds after the transfusion. There's a possibility of cancer transformation, so be mentally prepared. Doctor, I beg you, please save Emily. I, I truly love her. Yes, doctor, no matter how much money it takes, we are willing. We'll do our best. You can go see her now, but don't upset her emotions. Once she wakes up, I'll notify you immediately. Okay, thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Mom. It's going to be okay. Let's go and see Emily first. Noah. Emily never had a mother since she was little, and now she has lost her father and child. You must take good care of her. Emily. It's all because of me, failing to protect you. Emily. Emily. 
Please wake up quickly. Look, Mom and I have come to see you. Emily, wake up. Noah, Mrs. You've come at the right time. Are you here to donate blood for Emily? Yeah, let me see her first. She is really pitiful. Emily, Emily. You brought this upon yourself, didn't you? No one should think of taking Noah away from me. Mia, you go donate blood first. Don't worry. Noah, I'll donate blood for her. After all, she has given me blood so many times. Then you go ahead. Mom, I won't go with you guys. I want to stay here and wait for Emily to wake up. All right. Noah, Noah, rest in the ward for a while. It's okay, Mom, I'm fine. Well, okay. Noah, your injuries haven't healed yet. You should go back and rest. I'll feel heartbroken seeing you like this. Then let's go back first. When the doctor comes, you go back on your own. Let's go. Emily, since you don't know what's good for you, don't blame me for being ruthless. Mia. Why is she here? Mr. Wilson, I saw Miss Clark downstairs just now. She came to help Emily with the blood donation. She made a mysterious phone call earlier. Seems like... She made a mysterious phone call earlier. Seems like there's something fishy. Keep an eye on her. Yes. Mr. Wilson, we're about to proceed with the second blood transfusion treatment. You should go back to your own ward first. Then, Emily will be in your hands. Okay. Something's not right, Mr. Wilson. You guessed it right. Okay. Well, I want to see who's so vicious as to kill Emily's father, kill my child, and still want to harm us. I'll make them pay. Hello. Wash the car. I'll come back to pick it up in half an hour. Wait, where are you going? Who are you guys? What are you doing? He's the one who caused the accident. Catch him! Hey, hold on. What are you doing? Mistaken identity, right? You should know what you've done yourself. Oh no, it's a mistaken identity. I really don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't know. Ah, ouch. Ah, be gentle. Are you going to talk or not? Oh, I really don't know. Please spare me. Beat him until he tells. Ouch, spare me. Ah. Please, I'll tell you. Ah. I'll tell you. Noah. Emily has been inside for a day and a night. If she doesn't wake up tonight, she might. Mom. Don't listen to those doctors' nonsense. Emily will wake up. Emily has good fortune on her side. Take care of yourself. Mrs. Ava. Mr. Wilson, we've captured the mastermind behind Shark. I have a feeling things aren't that simple. Mom. Please, take care of Emily. Okay. Speak. Mr. Wilson, we've brought Alex Davis to the warehouse. Are you sure it's him? Absolutely. Let's go. You are Alex Davis, right? You are Alex Davis, right? Haven't you eaten? Just mess with me. You want to die? All right. Mm -hmm. 
What exactly do you want? What do I want? I'll tell you, I'll tell you. You are willing to talk now, aren't you tough? But let me tell you, I don't want to listen anymore. Stop. I've said it, I've said it. Why are you still hitting? Do you want to die? Then let's see, who will be defeated today? Emily, don't be afraid. I've taken care of those who harmed you. Just wake up, that's all. Okay, I understand. Just do as I say. Emily, the abortion drugs didn't kill you. But you won't live past today either. You've brought this upon yourself. Emily, it's a shame for such a beautiful face. Once you're dead, you're nothing. Ha! Just wake up. Oh, even if you wake up, you're a vegetable. Ha! Oh right. Once you're dead, Noah is mine now. After saying so much, are you going to get started? How did you wake up? Who are you? Wilson Shaw's bodyguards. Let go of me quickly. I will tell Noah. And you're all dead. Oh. I heard someone was looking for me. Noah, please make them let go of me quickly. Emily, are you okay? Noah, I'm fine. Noah, please make them let go of me quickly. I'm the one who brought them here. Let him in. Mia. This guy, you recognize him, don't you? It's her. She's the one who instructed me to do it. Noah, I don't know him. Go on. I pushed Liam down. I caused your car accident too. That's all, Mr. Wilson. Do you have anything else to say? Noah, he framed me. If you don't believe me, investigate it. Investigate? We found it. It's poison. Did you really think I'm so easily fooled? Do you think I'm that gullible? Really? Mia Clark, Alex Dave, suspected of intentional homicide. This is the evidence we found at the crime scene. Please come with us. Officer, this is the poison we found. As for other related evidence, tomorrow I will have my assistant hand it over to the police station. Thank you for your cooperation. Take them away. Emily. I haven't been good to you in the past. It was my fault. I will treat you even better. Should I forgive him or not? Emily. I truly realize my mistake. My bad. I was wrong. I shouldn't have trusted Mia. Please stop. Please stop. I forgive you. I forgive you. Let's not go in. They finally had a sweet reunion. Okay. Emily, as long as you're happy. Emily, you can be discharged today. You can go home. All right. Yes, Emily. The doctor for your home has been arranged as well. This time, let's focus on recovering at home. Thank you, Mom. Emily, why don't you thank me? Well, isn't it your duty? Yes, my duty. 
Mrs. Ava, Mr. Noah, and Mrs. Emily. The car is ready. We can leave now. Oh. I almost forgot. Let me help you put it on. Isabella also has a necklace like this. Will it? Let's go. We are leaving, Mom. Happy birthday! I have a surprise for you. Noah, Emily, it's time to eat. Mom! Um, let's all wish Emily a happy birthday together. Thank you, Mom and Dad. I also wish you a happy birthday. I have another gift for you. This gift is too precious. I can't accept it. Just take it. It's a token of my affection. Yes. Thank you. This is a branded handbag, you know. Emily, you've never received such a gift before. On your birthday, right? Emily, why haven't I met your parents? They... Emily's parents passed away. Although Emily's parents are no longer here, I treat Emily as my own daughter. Ah, yes, come, let's eat. I should tell you that a child without parents often have personality flaws. Auntie, have something to eat? Noah, you've been married for four years, right? Why haven't you had a child? Is it because Emily can't conceive? Auntie, she and I have been married for nearly five years, and whether we have a child or not is none of your business. I don't care, but I wonder what your parents would. Shut up. I've tolerated you three times. Today is Emily's birthday, and I don't want to argue with you. And you, constantly mocking Emily. Your mouth reeks. Do you know about this? Ava, why do you always side with outsiders? I am the one from the Wilson family. Ava, why do you always side with outsiders? I am the one from the Wilson family. Oh, so you still remember that you're from the Wilson family. Since that's the case, Emily is also part of the family now. Anyone who bullies Emily will be an enemy of the Wilson family. I'll take care of Emily. She is now the treasure of the Wilson family. Let's go first. What the hell? Let's go. Excuse me. Happy birthday. Mom, Dad, what's the matter? Have you always had this necklace? Yeah. What's wrong? This was left to me by my late mother. I have a bowl question, Ow. And you have to answer me. The mom you mentioned, is she your adoptive mother? Mom. I only remember being very young and getting separated from my family at the amusement park. I didn't remember the way back home and ended up sitting alone by the roadside. I almost got abducted by a bad person, but my adoptive parents took me in. Although they raised me in an ordinary family, they never let me experience any hardships. Why didn't you tell us earlier? Mom, I didn't deliberately hide it from you. I was afraid you would dislike me. Silly girl, it will never happen. I'm more concerned about you. Is your nickname Lisa? Oh, how did you know? Is your nickname Lisa? Oh, how did you know? Isabella, Isabella, Ava. I might not have much time left. Don't talk nonsense. I know my health condition. There's something you must help me with. I promise you. My daughter, Lisa hasn't been found yet. After I'm gone, I entrust this matter to you. To you. I promise you. Isabella. 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 Oh. Why do you have such a necklace too? What's on your mind, kid? 
Your birth mother's name is Isabella Martinez, and your birth father is Mason Brown. This necklace. You and your birth mother, each have one. My birth mother, could she be the childhood friend you mentioned who was sick and passed away? Now that I've found you, I've finally fulfilled her wish. No, mom. If your friend's daughter is Emily, the heiress of the Martinez Corporation, then... Oh, well, a joyous occasion for everyone. This is good news. Oh, by the way, doesn't Ethan happen to be my half-brother? Yeah. Oh, by the way, why hasn't he visited you recently? Visited you recently? What's wrong? Are you jealous? Emily, Mrs. Wilson has already told me everything. When I came to the hospital last time, I saw that you had woken up, and since you and Noah were together, I didn't want to disturb you, wishing you a lifetime of happiness. I'm going abroad for further studies now. I'll be back in a couple of years. Remember to go for chemotherapy next week. I'll send you some medication from abroad. When I come back, I want to see your health improving. My dear sister. Emily, I'll take good care of you. Noah, being with you truly brings me happiness.